can, can you explain to me like the process of working on anime as a like voiceover artist because i'm i'm, I'm assuming it's like anime is, is very big right mm -hmm. so you have to be big yeah <laughs> well what's the process well it sort of depends like some some are really big like dragon ball <laughs> right you know you're sort of yelling all the time mm -hmm. But not all of them are that way. There's a whole lot of like romance and drama shows mm. where you're, it's actually pretty small, but you mm. still have to communicate the meaning through, you know, a smaller vocal performance. Um, so it, I'm not sure so much it has to do with size uh, of a performance as it has to do with um, a lot of technical aspects. Mm. like being able to read the lines in such a way that it matches the flaps, right? The flaps we were talking yeah. about. So, you know, you, you you watch a scene, right? And you're looking for how your character is talking. And then th there'll be three beeps. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the fourth beep is ostensibly when you're supposed to talk, right? You, you've done this mm -hmm. stuff before mm -hmm. or anything like that. Okay. So, what I mean by like technical aspects would be like on that fourth beat, you're supposed to start talking and it's supposed to match their flaps, right? But it's also supposed to match what their face is doing and the physical mm -hmm. uh, reality of the scene, right? So if they're pushing a boulder, the vocal performance needs to reflect that they're pushing a boulder, yeah. right? If they're getting into a hot bath, the vocal performance needs to reflect that they're getting into a hot bath, mm -hmm. right? It's not just, I'm nervous because my crush is around or I'm angry because my nemesis is around. Yeah. There's other sort of physical reality stuff that you have to match. So it's not exactly like acting, like you were talking about with Mammoth's technique where you filter um, given circumstance, objective and action through uh, your partner's actions, right? It's not about that. Mm -hmm. It's about what is already there that is set in stone and you have to present that in a way that mm -hmm. is in harmony with what's going on What's, mm -hmm. what, with what's already going on on screen. In terms of like size of the performances, I, I think that, you know, you can go whatever way you want, you know? Um, some shows are like, really quiet, dead, and if only I had my lover here. Right, something like that. And some are like the sort of wacky, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> So it's a whole lot of screaming. So there's the technical aspects of matching what's going on on screen. And there's a whole other set of technical aspects, which is like, how do you deal with screaming for that long? So there was a time when I was doing like audiobooks in the morning, anime in the afternoons, and then this big, long, like three hour history play at night where I was on stage the whole time. And uh, I started to lose my voice and I went to the, I went to the voice doctor and uh, he said, your throat is bleeding. Um, and uh, that's the bad news. The good news is it's bleeding everywhere, which means you're not misusing your voice. Um, okay. Uh, so, so they gave me some steroids to like, uh, to make it better. Steroids, by the way, make you feel insane. Like it was an awful experience feeling wise, but it fixed my voice immediately. <laughs> it was, insane. Yeah. Well, what way insane? Uh, my skin felt like I was on fire. I was hungry all the time. I couldn't sleep. It was oh. crazy. I felt like I was out of my mind, but my voice sounded so good. Yeah. Um, Screaming. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> um, so there's like physical limits there, right? But I was doing that sort of stuff and I was talking to a vocal coach about it and, uh, and, uh, and she was like, this is overuse. Like there's no way around this. That, that, that nothing is going, is going to help. Mm. Um, but as I went to the next project, I sort of like pared down what all I was doing and I started to run into the same problem again. And she was like, uh, you, have you tried cooling down after shows? Mm. And I started doing that and it helped enormously. So are you doing kind of the same stuff that you, you do while you're warming up or is it a different set of uh, exercises? Different set of exercises. Uh -huh.